Yeah, I could uh, quickly introduce jo so Joseph Pallant, who couldn't make it. He's the he created blockchain uh, for Climate Foundation, and he's been both straddling the traditional climate industry and the crypto industry for many years. He's in Canada, he couldn't make it, and he actually sent over a video to talk about some of the standardization that we can see for the type of carbon credit choices that we bring on chain. Because that, as Greg had mentioned, is also a largely debated topic. <laughs> yeah, can you play the video? Hi. My name is Joseph Pallant. I'm the founder of Blockchain for Climate Foundation and a proud participant in the Blockchain Infrastructure Carbon Offset Working Group. And uh, thank you for letting me uh, have a few moments to tell you about carbon offset standards, um, their importance to the creation of carbon offsets, uh, and how we're going about planning for their use within the ecosystem approach to creating a wrapped green Bitcoin. So carbon offset standards are fundamentally the tools that uh, set the rules of the road for the creation of an offset project. And protocols are the specific tools that we use um, to credit a project from forest conservation or renewable energy or um, methane gas abatement from a waste project. And so these are the, the sort of pieces of the puzzle that we've built in over the years, the good practice guidance around what counts as an offset and how to go about evidencing it. So as one can imagine, it's very important that in order to, at the end of the day, create a wrapped green Bitcoin um, that's provably carbon neutral and achieving what we've sort of set out to do here, uh, we need to have a good offset uh, project being created, issued, and rolled in through these multiple steps um, to be able to make that happen at the end. We see that there's a variety of different ways um, and a variety of different standards that people think are best used to create a carbon offset and ensure that a ton of carbon has been gotten or kept out of the atmosphere. One of the approaches we've taken at the Blockchain Infrastructure Carbon Offset Working Group is to create a number of different portfolios where rather than presupposing an outcome, we're able to give a couple different options for pro portfolio types uh, that individuals may feel uh, resonate best for themselves um, and or that um, the, car the green wrapping entities um, who are wrapping up the Bitcoin asset with the carbon asset um, are able to create and then provide for their clients. So uh, we've got three main portfolios that we're looking at right now, and these are going to be achieved um, at least in certain cases through the creation of seasons albums, aggregating uh, tokenized carbon offsets and creating a stream of ERC-20 tokens that can be then used uh, in that wrapping process. Um, one of these portfolios or albums uh, is the Regen Network album. So there will be um, carbon credits issued through the Regen Network um, ecosystem uh, into, into this and be able to be fed to create a wrapped green Bitcoin. A second really exciting pathway uh, is the work that Klima, Klima DAO has been doing and their um, future issuance of the Klima token, as well as their base carbon tons um, tool, which is basically a wrapped carbon credit. Uh, they will have their own set of eligibility requirements for what it takes to be a, a BCT, a base carbon ton that can be um, bonded with a Klima token. Um, and they will publish and maintain uh, a set of information around what's included in that system. Um, but we're looking right now primarily at having verified carbon standard offsets, also known as verified carbon units, um, through the VERA standardization system, um, which is an excellent, quite rigorous um, toolkit for creating offsets. Finally, we're going to have a third portfolio or album, um, and that's sort of for a basket of different 
carbon offset projects that have been created to high quality offset standards that exist in the space and that have been around for some time. Um, I come from the carbon market. I've been developing carbon offsets over the last 17 years um, next month. And, uh, and so pertain to have some or purport to have some insight onto that. And so what we're looking at right now is having a portfolio that's made up of offsets from, um, from Vera and the verified carbon standard from the gold standard, which is another sort of cohesive offset standard that's been in place for a while and has a strong focus on social and environmental outcomes as well. We're also really excited to be able to curate and pull in offsets from um, a, a green list of compliance grade carbon offsets. So different jurisdictions, provinces, states, or countries, um, uh, or large blocks like the EU have compliance programs where there can be offsets created within their standards and rule, rule sets there. Uh, I'm based in Vancouver, Canada, um, and British Columbia, our province, has a long-standing, set, a long-standing standard, and it's been issuing credits um, for over a decade. Um, and so we feel that offsets coming from this standard are going to be um, very high quality, and there's some supply of really great projects out there. Um, we're also looking at the Climate Action Reserve based in California um, and sussing out whether we can also bring in credits from their compliance system into this voluntary system to use with wrapping uh, into this overarching ecosystem that we're, we're creating. So uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me. We'll get my contact information out there. Uh, I really wish I could be there with you all in New York today, um, but have a great main net, a uh, great time in the city. Take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Joseph. And we have basically kind of like an application level uh, example through, through Aragon.